Okay, let's start off now with exporting uh, our geometry out into RealFlow and get it in there and that way we can start to begin to simulate the water uh, flowing over the um, faucet plate there that we see. This will give us a cool effect so I'm going to go off with starting with an OBJ and do both 0.5 on the scale. Uh, just roughen this out. I'm going to export this out. And here we are in RealFlow. All right, so let's import our object, okay? And now as you can see, we have just the plate and the bowl. That's all we need for this. We just want to get a quick simulation of water flowing from the plate into the bowl. And this is what's going to give us that kind of cool effect that we have in the renders. All right, so I'm going to scale this down by 0.2, okay? Like I said, guys, if you don't have uh, real flow, uh, not to worry. Either you know you don't have to have the water effect, but if you really want it, and you don't have a clue on how to create some cool water effects in 3ds Max, give me a shout. Let me know, and I can apply a video for you guys, uh, showing you a really quick example of how to do that. But for now, we're just gonna simulate this and um, see what kind of cool effect we get. So I'm gonna start off with a uh, circle emitter. Okay. Actually, you know, we want to use a square. I right, bring this up, and like I said, I realized that this actually plate—the plate is actually the water is supposed to come out from the edge, not from the top of the plate. But uh, that was my mistake earlier when I uh, you know, created this before I created this video. So, and I realized it in the render that it actually is supposed to go from the edge. But oh well, this looks pretty cool, anyways. So um, here we're going to put the emitter uh, just shy of the, uh, of the edge of the uh, plate. And we're going to run our first simulation. We don't have anything, only because uh, we have to up our resolution a bit. Let's go to around 20. And we're also, I'm reading uh, that we have to change our, uh, we've got to switch that over to local and hit the play. and or simulate and look as you can see that we have uh, our particles just kind of going out into space so we got to add a gravity uh, demon and throw that guy down and there we go so now if, if you look we have the fluid just kind of flowing nicely and you can see that uh, it's almost getting it's almost actually what we want we just need to add a little bit more resolution and we need to just change a bit of the properties of the simulation just to kind of get more of a variation here because you can see that it comes out very uniform you can see like kind of it comes out in lines like that little strips we don't want that so we've got to randomize how it's how the uh, particles are emitting so I'm just going to move this up a bit just kind of, whoa, just, or just, just uh, going by, um, just actually it's trial and error. There we go. That looks better. Getting there. Sorry for making you dizzy there. Just kind of, let's bring this out a bit. You can see it's just kind of pouring out. Um, this is very close to what we want. Let's just up our let's scale it a little more, and let's just up our resolution a bit too as well, and um, get a more some variation into our em particles emitting right at the beginning. There, it's kind of so yeah. So what we want to do is we want to random randomize our the way the uh, particles are flowing out, just so it's not so, there we go. So you can see now it comes out differently. It's not as, like all the lines that you were seeing before. We now have a, some variation there. Simulate that. There we go, that's, that's really cool. I think if we uh, up our um, resolution a bit, we're gonna get a 
header simulation. So I'm going to up that down to 200 and simulate. Just got to reset and hit. Okay, I can I notice that there's some our emitters firing off particles below, uh, and those are going to kind of slow down our simulation time because that's just going to go into infinity. So let's add a kill volume. there and let's just kind of get to a certain area just so we don't have that also meshing later we don't want to have that running down that would run down our back wall that's not what we want and what I'm trying to do here is I'm not getting a full simulation I'm actually just gonna just freeze frame somewhere and then I'm just gonna grab one mesh of this of the uh, water flowing out and using that as the model so I'm not going to do any kind of simulate uh, animation, if you will, not in this series anyways. So um, there. So we're killing off the particles. This way it simulates a lot quicker. It's just not calculating the other particles falling down into infinity. So this really helps. So you can see we got a nice splash. And I know I'm going to use around there as a freeze frame and then just mesh it and use that one basically you're just making one like one mesh piece we're not going to go with the seed ones let's try 300 that's starting to look a lot more real there <clears throat> This is really basic, but this is just kind of give me a quick effect that I want, and it's really cool when it when it renders out later on. So <clears throat> picks up a lot of reflections, why not? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mesh um, our simulation here. Um, Okay, so I'm just going to grab uh, the particles here and let's take a look. Okay, so that's pretty blobby there. Um, let's just probably try to bring this down a bit. Let's go to a point 0.2. Oh, that's not looking too bad there. <coughs> okay, let's hit 9. Let's see what we got. So let's move this. And we're getting close let's add some smooth about 100 and let's uh, build it okay you don't see anything different there uh, let's go back to our let's see um, sort of optimize options help or maybe not maybe we just go to okay we got our polygon polygon size on um, uh, let's try going into metaballs Let's build that. Okay, that's not bad. We just need to bring some ra the radius down, but that's pretty blob looking. Let's take it over the bowl. Let's go to our radius. And let's um, do a zero one. Okay, obviously we're losing it there because of, uh, it's just way too small. Let's try that again. So it's just getting the, there's a few things you got to go back and forth on. Oh, I had that on. That's an, an accident. So there we go. So now we're meshing. That's my mistake. Whoa. That, look at that. <laughs> okay, let's change that. So we don't want to see that. There we go. That's looking better. It's still a little bit uh, blobbish, but uh, thin this out a bit. Try going to zero eight zero zero eight. Okay, this this is very nice. Um, I might be able to get a little more out of it. Let's bring it down to maybe mm, six. 
There we go. That is that is getting better. Maybe I'll bring it down just a tad bit more. Just kind of bring it down by a number here and just see what I like. This one a little bit thinner. So yeah, it's kind of it's thicker on the edge there. Water needs to be a little bit. It's not that bad though. filtering there okay so let's uh, let's bring this down a little bit more okay that's a little bit too too low so we're gonna have to just bump it back up and uh, that, mm, it's not exactly what we want it's very broken up in the edge there so we're gonna have to We don't want no filters on. Let's run that again. Nothing. Um, okay, so if I try this smooth and bring it back to 50, okay, that that uh, is worse. So we don't want that. So go back to 100. And all right, let's just go back to our radius. Let's bump this back up a bit. Okay, there. That's 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 the results right there. That's exactly what I want. All right. So it's just a radius issue. So we just gotta be aware of that. Now we're just gonna build the mesh uh, real quick so we can get the bin files. And I uh, like frame 38, and that's where I want my still frame. So we'll grab that. It's gonna run the whole thing here. I don't I don't care about anything but frame 38 for this still. Okay. You can see this cool simulation we got going. This is really neat if you want to have a animation uh, of some sort you can uh, you can use RealFlow to get some really cool effects with the fluid. Okay, we're going to jump back into Max and open up the bin file uh, that I just exported out from RealFlow. And uh, this is like a sequence of the mesh that was just loaded from uh, frames uh, 1 to 38 or 0 38. Um, so you can see at the bottom there it's a little small so we're going to have to scale it up towards the bowl and get it up and fit it into place. And that's just because of a scaling issue that uh, that I've done with uh, RealFlow. Uh, I'm not really worried about it <coughs> at this point since this will be just uh, one frame. So I'm just going to fit it into place. All right, so let's get this thing scaled up. Let's see here, that's frame 38 there. That's exactly the frame I want. I'm just gonna kind of try to get in there and match it up as best as possible. Okay, so we're just gonna tr we're just trying to line it up with that inner inner uh, bevel there, where the thickness of the glass is, just so that way I can match it and get it as close as possible. That's pretty close, All right? So we notice that there's some uh, the mesh is quite low res. And that's because of the polygon size that was that came out of uh, RealFlow. So um, you can s just want to be aware of that as well. But since I can use Turbo Smooth in Max, we'll be able to get it uh, looking pretty uh, pretty cool looking. A little more dense. It's kind of blocky. So let's go to our Turbo Smooth, and you'll see what I mean by that. It's already a huge difference there. Um, Quite nice. This will uh, should work. I'm going to convert this to an edible poly, and now I have it in mesh. So there's no more sequence uh, 
there's no more mesh sequence to this anymore. So we're just gonna put this down, or actually put that to two, and there we go. So you can see, guys, um, you know, this is pretty, pretty straightforward. What I just need to do now is just take away this uh, extra mesh that we didn't want there that was flowing over from the uh, emitter. So I'm just going to actually grab these uh, vertices here, and I'm just going to delete them out. We're not going to see it. So I'm just going to clean this up. Let's get it underneath the plate there a bit. Delete. Okay, we're just going to grab the bottom corners here, get that rid of that, and go around here. That's not too bad. That's fine. Okay, so there we go. That looks better. So as you can see, guys, this includes the second part, and I'll see you in the third as we're going to wrap this up and get a nice, cool-looking image. Thank you.